Atal Incubation Center. Alip, we have an Atal Incubation Center, CCMB, in collaboration with G20 India Presidency, organized the Startup 20X Hyderabad Sabha, an innovative and influential panel discussion. The event aimed to serve as a platform for various stakeholders in the global startup ecosystem to come together and share their perspectives. As part of this initiative, an open discussion forum was held to discuss the Startup 20 policy report. Facilitators of the startup ecosystem, government officials, CEOs of incubation centers, investors and bankers joined the forum with the objective of achieving a more fruitful outcome. As a ACC CMB, we are focusing usually the lives and startups, but again, some of the org labs with the IDF and other uh, entrepreneurs, especially women entrepreneurs, I mean, having this uh, startup uh, for DX, I mean, earlier I think, you know, Peter Thiel, and to mention about startup 10x, that means, you know, the startup should be 10 times stronger in this journey than the second best in these competitors or whatever. So I think uh, 20 countries and uh, this G20, where I think we are making it as a 20x. I think that is the boost uh, where two of the aspects I think we will discuss more about uh, the framework and the policies and uh, uh, the responsibility for, uh, responsibilities of all of us. But uh, I think you know the globalization and the freedom for startup to align with national policies and uh, national mandates. I think that is what the prime uh, uh, what you can say purpose of this particular uh, G20 and uh, its uh, uh, predecessor meetings that so far happened. Even today we are sitting for that purpose. Um, in that context, I think you know last uh, line from my side is that uh, in being an incubator, I mean, major responsibility is there, not only from the government, you know, being a incubator, I'm saying that it is our responsibility. Incubators need to take that responsibility. And I'm just telling here in front of all of you that uh, the gaps that what Rama Devi Garu trying to anticipate or expect from all of us to discuss and to resolve certain uh, those are gaps. I think uh, we are taking that ownership of those responsibilities to help all the startups to connect the dots. That's what my last line. I think uh, everybody have gone through the five pillars or one of the challenges they briefly mentioned, but you know, we have to actually look from the uh, rural sectors to cities and then to states and then to national then to global. I think we have to change your perspective. Although we are talking about the countries today, 20 countries will be talking and uh, uh, having their discussions on you know, how best we can actually share our uh, services or platforms to other countries. That is the main agenda. But you know, locally, if we don't understand our own problems and challenges and put forward properly to the nation, then India, how it can be the uh, you can say center or hub to the, all the countries to give provisions from our side and also to their side because uh, two three challenges that we have for example you know uh, as uh, mentioned about you know i think uh, uh, procurements and uh, imports simplest issues that we have they look simple but they're very complicated okay i can apply for an fcra to get uh, foreign funds for our own startups you know, it's not for the incubator, for example. The incubator is again supported by the government organization like CCMB. But the application is there with the MHA for the past two and a half to three years. We are having, we are blessed with our host organization, CCMB, for example. And we are rooting out the funds because CCMB is exempted because of the CSIR, it's a society. So, like that, many other incubators may be having these challenges locally. To get the funds from foreign, be the CSR money or the philanthropic money or whichever the way. So that is one kind of problem. So I think having our own uh, these challenges nationally, how 
these mechanisms are friendly to our startups or the incubators because we are talking about the startup case how we can actually do it for tx when we are not even able to reach to the tx so i think uh, having this uh, uh, challenge in front of us not only one challenge maybe some hundred or or lot of so today let's put out those at least some 15 can to 15 solid pointers that can actually add up to this draft document from this table from this row so that's what probably atls can actually look at it parents can be included in making some orders parents can also be the award winners along with their kids maybe some teams can be made like that. i'm just thinking these are the plant ideas but uh, that's the only way to include them so that they can understand about what is the startup you know our ATLs, for example, at the AICC, CFP, we nurtured like the APS and the uh, NEEP also. They they actually are trying to make patents, trying to form companies at the age of about thirteen, fourteen, or fifteen years. It's changing, but yes, I think we have to have uh, clear cut uh, adaptations of policies to build these and the foundation. In each country, I would like to bring in my own experience. We run an industrial training institute in a rural area. We have national politics today. Maybe they define what five years before or so. But still, adapting them to the institutional levels, school levels, colleges level, university level. I think that's the problem. And also, I think uh, the point two, oh no, one part is required. Recalibrating. Yeah. So that recalibration, you know, we have an instrument or a we have a kind of a internal system auditing, for example, quarterly internal audits and external audits. Quarterly that you do recheck, right? The policies need to be rechecked such a way, otherwise, you know, you will miss the speed of it. So that is one thing. Uh, NISP kind of policies we need more, and uh, they have to be adapted by. Or I think the government should be having. I mean, insisting that all institutions can be whatever the school or any organization to practice this as a must. It is not. They are just on the paper. Okay, it is there. You can use. You can implement in your organ. At least IICs, Institutional Innovation Council, that we are trying to align their policies as as per NISP. But I think uh, we have to reach. So I think a uh, very important point. Uh, Everybody want to register as a private limited or even LLPs at the time of investment they have to convert themselves to private limited. But these proprietorship companies or one man or one woman companies, they are doing fantastic at the ground level, but they are not. Yet they have these barriers. So someone need to actually address. Okay, um, how I think repeat the the point I consider this way. How we can actually make them inclusive. to give equal status like a startup to get these incentives or maybe investments i think that is one uh, point that we have to make a note uh, i think forming yes uh, uh, yes yes because even partnership with the partnership also companies, yes. can be a startup yes yeah. other than the private limited and all other all others should be oh. how these can be uh, Giving provisions to go global, for example. You know, because you mentioned here in the draft document, in the foundation point uh, about considering all these startups. I mean, so not foundation, probably finance. So the cash flows or business that you talk about, that maturity or the awareness at least, whether it is there for those non-private limited or non-startup category. So you have to create a category. Equal to the startup. I think uh, fundamentally we are missing one point when they come to the definition of startup. Actually, the startup revolution starts with the startup idea. Yes. And these ideas need to be recognized somewhere. And this would be at the grassroots level, or it could be at the academic institution. It just may be something that may be done. During this academic institution, a lot of these students that will be come out with a lot of ideas and want to exhibit it over the class. So they don't really nurture that particular idea and take it to a startup or a commercial idea. Yes. So it was very important to actually recognize and define that this is also a process of 
Okay. Let's move on to the startups. Listening to your point, and starts actually, uh, I think it's not written in this uh, document about the open innovation. Why can't these uh, school student innovations, or they are just trying to spend some thirty uh, percent or forty percent of their time, school time, to bring some innovative solutions for the societal problems, but. Uh, don't, if they are not patenting, if they are not forming the companies, at least uh, schools or maybe those organizations can actually make them as an open innovation where startups can be. I don't know, some mechanism is to be created. Anyway, sustainability when it comes again, not having those uh, scalable numbers, but at least scalable products, whether you can actually uh, sustain your business or maybe initial uh, two to three years, or maybe whether you are able to pivot it or not. But uh, we are startup 20x we are talking about startup 10x at least to link to a sustainability uh, matrix there are 10 things about you know uh, the needs you you know most of them and all of them also just reading out so that we can open it for two three questions or recommendations so needs opportunity discovery timing timing is the key again and uh, pivoting that's also mostly we discussed or maybe most of them are adapting and the uh, speed that I mentioned to you, speed is the key the pace, every incubator or any ecosystem uh, uh, stakeholder need to adapt and uh, what kind of models you are adapting and learning the cash flows and ultimately the team because funding I'm not managing because we have enough funding so team again strategy you should be having and character so i think uh, having these things how do you actually modulate or maybe uh, link on to that uh, sustainability models maybe two three recommendations if you can give that will be great there's a headline differentiation you can understand that there may be some tech based investments innovation based investments or grants or startups Again, business or we are purely business oriented. You know, even the startups which are talking about the event, they may not be understand the business action very well. But you guys, in case if there is no such innovation per se is there, but you are doing the best. I mean, there is a difference in that. Totally so I think you have to hit to the right, uh, uh, what you can say, uh, investment agencies or granting agencies where. Innovation is not there. I think Ramadhan is already having uh, a dozen of schemes to that line, but thanks for the point.